everybody welcome back to another episode i'm carrie this is this channel is all about hawaii food and family and today mom here is going to be um sharing with us a french dish i think this is her first time that she's making it um but we as a family we were talking the other day about a different kind of theme that we were going to have for dinner and so we decided on french for some reason i don't know why we decided i think i know why because i'm reading the book called I read the book, Bringing Up Bebe. It's like about how an American girl, she goes to France and she raises her, her child in France and how they raise uh, their kids there. And so um, anyway, I was inspired by that book and uh, they talk about this French food. And so um, mom decided that she wanted to try this French dish after I was telling her about it. So anyway, uh, mom, you want to kind of share what this is, what you're making? So I am making... Well, actually, didn't you tell us to make French soup? It was a suggestion. <laughs> so I looked up French cooking recipes and um, Ina Garten's recipe for beef bourguignon. <laughs> beef burgundy. Okay, Laurie, how do you say it? Beef bourguignon. Beef bourguignon. Well, anyway. Anyway. Okay. That is we're what trying. we're making today. Okay, so we start off with, and I'm using my nice cast iron. Wow, here. this and is a, a new Christmas present. Tablespoon of oil and um, six, um, eight, uh, eight ounces of half a pound of bacon. apple, um, apple wood bacon. Uncured. Mom likes to get it uncured. Well, this one is I couldn't find. Never mind. One on eight. It's pretty hot. Here you go. Can I mix these? Well, we can mix it. So after that, then um, we're gonna. Take the bacon out, and then we're going to season our beef. So while Carrie is doing that, I have two and a half pounds of chocolate that we're going to season with salt and pepper. Don't mind the piano in the background. That's my sister teaching piano while we're filming this. So that is what that means. <laughs> It's nice to do like theme dishes and everybody will bring like a theme dish like so tonight for dinner Kathy is making like a French onion soup and Jenny brought a charcuterie reward and Reed is making um, a French chicken dish which I don't want to butcher the name so I will let him share what it's called and I like to bring French fries He wanted to bring French fries Or French toast Or French toast but we oui, leave. Oui. <laughs> so instead, yeah. So he's making a chicken dish, and then he's also making a mousse dessert as well. Okay. So um, before I forget, I did start the oven at 250. So it's warming up at 250. Okay. I think this is good, Mom. I think it needs to cook this. It's not it's just a little bit to cook it more. So what's so good about a, what what is the what's what's so good about a Dutch oven? Um, you know, I think it has a, a cast iron core and then it has um enamel. I'm not sure what it is around here. You're able to cook on the stove and then immediately transfer it into the oven. oven. So it's gonna go in the oven. The reason that you're able to cook it on the stove and transfer this pot into the oven. Right. Didn't know that. Okay, so we're here. using um of course the, the beef here. And onions and carrots, a, a pound of a pound of carrots and two onions, mm -hmm. and um, a pound of mushrooms, and then some of the other ingredients would be thyme, garlic, flour, tomato paste, and butter. And oh, and that. special, special. <laughs> this is cognac. Okay, that Reed so graciously brought for us, and I think he went out and bought a brand new one. Mm -hmm. And um, it's 750 milliliters of good red wine that you would consume. And we we happen to have a wine that we just opened last night, and it was delicious, right? So I mean, Kirkland, you know, it doesn't get better than Kirkland. So okay, so anyway, and, and some chicken, uh, not chicken, but beef broth. Okay, so now we're gonna take um, take the um, 
bacon out, and we're gonna put the beef in. So this is just to brown. We're gonna brown all the sides. And about half the beef. Okay, so after we brown the beef, then we're going to um, brown the carrots and the onions. We add um, a tablespoon of salt is in the recipe, but I'm really going to add less. Like I'm adding just half a tablespoon. And it asks for two teaspoons of cracked black black pepper, and that's about um, oh, this is like a teaspoon. So I'm I'm, I'm adding a teaspoon. I think I'll add the onions are brown. I'm going to add in two teaspoons of chopped garlic and. Um, so I have, actually I, I had three cloves of garlic that I chopped and I think it's about two teaspoons. Okay, and so then we're going to cook it for another minute and then we're going to have something very exciting. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna add um, the cognac and um, we're going to flame the cognac to turn off the alcohol and for that I'm going to have um, a really master chef come and <laughs> do that for me because I'm too much of a coward. And Reed's gonna flame it. He's gonna add it in and flame it. And I'm gonna step back. Woo! There we go. Okay, okay, so just add it in and set it ablaze. Yes, that's it. Alright. Like you're gonna like do this and then set it ablaze. Oh. Flambe! Look at that, that's terrific. You should shut off the lights and show this. It's burning off all the alcohol right. and leaving the cognac flavor. That's what she Maya, look at this. It looks like carpet. Oh. That's a lot of alcohol. Okay, we're gonna add the cognac. Okay, so we're gonna add two cups of beef broth. I'm going to measure out the wine because it did call for 750 milliliters and I have a feeling this is more than 750. Wow. It's, I think 750 is like a one bottle, right? Right. How much is in a one bottle of wine? Then we're going to add our tomato paste that's already here and our thyme. We're actually going to get it to a simmer. We're going to cover it and simmer it and then put it in the oven now for one and one hour and 15 minutes. Okay. 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 We'll see you in a few. Okay, so now the, the um, beef has been in the oven for probably a little bit over an hour, hour and 10 minutes, I think. So we're going to be um, finishing it up. And so we have two tablespoons of butter and we're going to now saute our mushrooms. Okay. And so, and you want to mix that. Yes. And then while Carrie is sauteing the mushrooms, um, I'm going to take um, three tablespoons of flour, your all-purpose flour, and I am going to mix it with room temperature softened butter. And this, once our beef comes out of the oven, we are going to add this into the beef. Do 
Okay. This looks delicious. So this just came from the oven. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna we're gonna add our butter and flour mixture here. And we're just gonna melt it into the beef. Then we're gonna add um, a package of our pearl onions. And then we wanna put our mushrooms in. Oh, it's, isn't it looking wonderful? Yeah, it looks good. Garnish with parsley. We have some parsley here, fat with parsley. And it's going to be all done. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you in a few. For dinner, we have French onion soup. We have the beef, marmalade, and we have chicken, which has heavy cream and beef broth. It's mother vegetables inside. It's really yummy. That meat made. This is our dinner. And looks good. The traditional French brown rice. And we have some brown rice. French brown rice. It's Genji. Genji Mai. Did you see that, Daddy? I saw it, I saw it. It'll be Genji Mai. Genji Mai. Genji Mai. Brown rice. Genji Mai. Pack. That's not that. You might not. Hey. It's soft. How's the flavor? What? Yeah, <laughs> it's um more fruity. I like it. It's good. Yeah. It's good. That makes you have a good job. How's it beef? It's really good. It has a very nice. The flavor of the sauce is very rich. That's like perfect. so. Hey Mar, how is it? I'm gonna bring your medicine. I know, I know, I'm gonna bring your medicine. I'm still chewing it. It's like, just, it's like, is like it hard? Really oh, it's good? Why? Good. Aiko, how is, what are you eating, Aiko? I'm eating, um, uh, I'm eating chicken. How is the chicken? Is it good? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be trying the beef. How do we say it? Beef bourguignon. The beef bourguignon. You should just pronounce it on purpose like 10 times and then it's the beef bourguignois. <laughs> the bougie beef. We're gonna try the bougie beef. <laughs> we're gonna put this on? Okay. Alright. Here we go. Let's do the airplane. Uh, Get the red right kind, right? Mm. How's the bougie beef? I can tell. <laughs> good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it lit? It has a lot of flavor. Um, I can definitely taste like the wine flavor. Um, but it's very, very tasty overall. It's really nice. Really nice sauce that it's in. It's very good. Good. And it's soft too. It's probably the cognac that we burned off. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. Spend so much money on cognac only to burn it off. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you like it? Excellent. All right. Good. good job, mom. Ten out of ten. We did it again. Clapping. Yeah. So we are gonna continue to enjoy our French meal. Uh, yeah, this is a great idea to make for Valentine's Day. I think coming up. But yeah, see you in a few. Yeah, Yay. Yay.